Hello. In today's video, I'm going to be going over how to connect to an external Git repository. I have an application here, and it is currently not under any repository, and uh, I've decided that perhaps it should be. And so what I'm going to do is, um, first I'm going to close it so that uh, I don't affect it at all. And you can see now that I have a, a Git node here. And if you recall, if you can't see the versioning navigator, it is available here under Team. And if you don't have versioning or you don't have Git, you can configure it if you have Servision. If you don't see this here, then you can get it from the Check for Updates. Okay. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to first create a repository out on GitHub, which is a, uh, a Git uh, web page uh, that you can put repositories on. Now, I would like to note that uh, Timo Han has written some pretty good articles on Git here and here. There's two parts to it. And so if you need information, more information, please see those two articles. And this is GitHub. OK, and I do have a uh, repository where I've been doing some work here and you can set up Git, you can create repositories, you can fork repositories and you can be social. I'm not going to be social. This is just for my own personal stuff. Even though these are public, I would appreciate it if you um, don't try to contact me because I'm not really going to be answering any questions about this. It's just uh, a play area for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first create a new repository. And I'm just going to call it test for the time being because we're going to actually delete this. Um, I've found that if you fail to click this, then it's uh, all of a sudden expects you to initialize the Git repository. And I really don't want to deal with trying to work with Git at the command line. I want a GUI. I'm lazy. So I'm first going to come over here to settings and then scroll all the way down and delete this repository. And all it takes is writing that and removing any white space. And it's gone. So now we'll create a new repository. And I'm going to call this global rules. And you can see that I've attempted previous examples of this video. And I'm going to initialize it and I create the repository and you can see that it has one file a file that has this text in it and that's about it what I'm going to do is take this URL and I'm going to copy it into JDeveloper but I'm going to do it by this way I'm going to come over here to the git repository node and I'm going to collect click on clone. I'm going to type this in here. And I'm going to put my password in. Now the reason that um, I'm actually redoing this video is that I was doing it this way for a while and all of a sudden it stopped working. I got this very irritating and not helpful um, message. And after a series of uh, attempts to troubleshoot, it came down to a simple .git that solved the problem. I also um, created a video on working with a private key. Uh, so if you'd like to look at some of my other videos, you may find that one. But uh, for the time being, I'm just going to be working with a simple login and password, although GitHub does recommend you use a private key. So .git has to be the uh, suffix of the URL, and then you can continue. And what it's going to do is it's going to create a directory under here. And I, uh, I'm just going to create a new project from the files see that I've got my git and I'm going to call it git jpr because this is going to house the git stuff okay and I don't want to be really messing with it it's it's just where all the git data is going to be stored which is nice because it keeps it separate from my application with svn you have to do an export of the 
uh, Git repository or the SVN repository in order to get your files out. But it looks like uh, Git keeps the project separate and uh, does all the storage in here, which is, is rather nice. OK, so I've got this, and uh, it does put in, you know, I've changed this. Well, one thing I might add is that there's no name here. OK, so we have to rename the application right up here. And we'll call this set well, global rules. WS. Okay, so um, now uh, we do have these to save, or these are candidates actually, and now they're in the outgoing. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that I have not updated the repository on GitHub. This is still the same. I have only updated the repository on my local computer. And that, of course, is in the directory here. And we can go to it. It's under git, global rules. And here you can see the .git information. And here you can see the classes and other folders. OK. So now what I really want to do is I want to import that uh, file or actually project that I had into this directory. So I'm going to come over here to my set globals and I'm just going to copy it over here. There may be other ways to do it, but I found that this works pretty efficiently. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to open the project and let's come up here. Actually, I don't need to do that. It's right here and open up the VPN. And there you go. Now you notice you want to be just be careful that this opened up. You don't want to be working in there. You want to be working in here. OK. And you can see that these are all new by the little square filled in area and the icon there. And we come over to the candidates and the pending changes. If you don't see pending changes, they are available here. I'm just going to move them over and they're now outgoing candidates you can see that they're scheduled for addition staged all of them i'll go over what that means in a second basically uh if i have i'm just going to make a quick and dirty change to this just adding some white space so that we can see what happens it's in here. It's in the pending changes now when I save it. But if I try to click on it, will it go? It did not go. There are files. There are no files in the stage index to commit. You have to press this plus sign. And it's just adding it to be staged. Now it's staged. And now you can put it in your local repository. Now what this does is it, it it's not connected to the repository on the the GitHub server, which is great because I can mess this up as much as I want. And if I don't want to save it or I don't want to continue, I can just close out the application, maybe have to restart JDeveloper, but this would be then empty and then I can reclone it and pull it down in. So it gives an extra layer of comfort that I highly recommend. And this is why I consider subversion to be inferior because when you when you do something in subversion you are updating what everybody else sees so you better get it right now let's see what we haven't done is we haven't updated this okay we have it out here in the local but we don't have it on the master version so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to push OK, now each one of these has different uh, meanings and you'll have to look into those. But right for this one, we're just going to be doing the push. And you can see now that my directory has the dot git. Okay, 
it looks like it's done we come out here we click on there and look at that everything's out there okay so that is the way to connect actually create a git repository pull down a uh, or i should say clone an existing repository on github and then add a project and then push it out i hope that was helpful have a good day